you know my first guest from The Office and Extras, and now on his first stand-up tour in seven years, please welcome Ricky Gervais. <laughs> What a lovely audience. There's marvelous people. It seems a shame to spoil it, doesn't yeah. it? <laughs> we, could, we could just sit here and look at each other, <laughs> and they could project onto us that this is going to be an interesting conversation. They're lovely. We had a very I'm... interesting conversation last time. We you were did, here. didn't we? Yeah. We did. We debated the existence of God. Yeah. And I smoked and you. And where did it and where did it get us? <laughs> Nowhere. So what's the point? Well, hell in the end, I suppose. <laughs> No, you'll be all right. What? I'm, I'm going to hell because I don't believe in him. That's, no, that's I'm going the... to hell because I do believe in it. <laughs> just because you don't, just because you believe in hell doesn't mean you won't go there. You probably will because I'm a sinner. Well, yeah, but we're all sinners, aren't we? According to your lot. <laughs> right, right, and we're only saved by the grace of God. But you know, sure. we don't deserve it. <laughs> we don't deserve it, Ricky. So what's the? Well, I got no guarantee. I'm going to heaven. Only one person was ever guaranteed entrance into heaven. Who's that? Oh, the good thief who was hanging next to Christ. He said, uh, this very day shall you be with me in paradise. That's what he said to him. Christ himself gave him the, boom, gave him the stamp. He validated his parking oh, right well, there. But wasn't, <laughs> yeah. but wasn't Christ God in a different form? He was both God and man, yeah, fully. Yeah, but he, God is, was Jesus, wasn't he? Three persons in, in one God, yeah. Right. The bedrock of Western so, civilization. And he, so he knew he was sending himself to earth to die for our sins and then go to heaven. Yeah, because he sees all the time at once. Sounds a bit far-fetched to me. <laughs> I completely agree. I completely agree. Yeah. Religion Thanks. is the crazy story that it's okay with you to believe in, you know? It's okay for me to believe my, my religious story. Everybody else's religious story is a cult. Yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. Your God is real. All the other gods are silly, made-up nonsense, but not yours. That's right. <laughs> that's, that's why my God is greater than every other God. Exactly, yeah. Um, now, you're on a world comedy tour. I am indeed. Where in the world? <laughs> you wouldn't think so. Um... <laughs> Part of the world? We're in the world right now. <laughs> what, what constitutes the world, Ricky Gervais? When you say world tour... Well, I, like I, in America, we have the World Series, but it's just us fighting Exactly. Us. And same as Mr. Universe, always comes from Earth. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. Um, so, it's a fix. Yeah. It's a fix. Yeah. Well, I even put on the posters before the tickets went on sale, um, uh, Ricky Gervais live, coming to a town near you, if a town near you has an arena and a five-star hotel with a helipad. So you don't like to, you don't rough it? You don't I rough don't it around rough the world? I don't it. I stay in, like, castles <laughs> and, like, ridiculous... But I do, yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah why, would, why would I go and live in a cave in Iraq? Why would I do that? I'd... There's something in between those two. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Normal <laughs> people. So. Everyone else. I suppose. Cleveland. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Cleveland. Yeah. 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 No, I do. I, uh, I'm, I make it very easy for myself. I, um, I do sort of two or three days on, then four days off. Um, so, uh, yeah, my That's world, nice. world tour has taken me a year because of all the days off in between. You, yeah. you haven't done, uh, you haven't done a stand-up tour in seven years, something seven like that? Seven years, if you don't count the Golden Globes, which you shouldn't. Um, yeah. no, it's, I do it's, have questions about that in a minute. We'll okay, get back sure. to that. So why go back to it? Why seven years in do you want to do it Do you know what? Um, I always thought of stand-up was like the third thing I did. I was sort of a writer or a director or an actor. And, um, and it always got pushed back, so I, th I thought more important things. But now, for the first time, I think it's the favourite thing I do. It's such a privilege that other people coming out to see you, you can say anything you want, there's no restrictions, it's just your own morality and 10,000 strangers. And it's a real privilege, and I, I think I'm finally a good stand-up. And that sounds weird, and everyone who's come to see me before this, you're not getting your money back, but I'm saying now... <laughs> I don't know why... I th do you know what I think it is? Um, I, I think it's seven years off, um, and I sort of miss it. And also, I've reached that age, because I'm old, I've got old people right, so I can say what the f I want. <laughs> and, you know, I, I, I'm not a maniac. I don't go out to, to offend. That's too easy. But you just... It just happens.
Is there anything that offends you? Everything offends me. Honestly, noisy eaters, people eating like that. <laughs> oh, God. I, 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 lateness, people are late. I can't stand it. I'm always early. Are you, you are, you're punctual. I'm, I'm early, so if they're a bit late, they're twice as late as they think they are, and I'm furious. <laughs> I, can't, I, I just can't believe anyone would be late to meet me. Why, what are they thinking? <laughs> just crazy. Yes. It's, do you know what I mean? <laughs> Whistling. Oh, whistling? whistling? Why is wh wh a name with people really loudly whistling in changing rooms? People whistling. They're, they're like basically a, like a locker room. Yeah, thing? yeah. Walking a man walking around naked whistling. He's basically going, "I'm not looking at your." C That's all the reason is. <laughs> it's just uh -huh. and sniffing, sniffing. Oh, this is the worst noise in the world. Sniffing in the locker room. Oh no, no, no. <laughs> I didn't know. Yeah, I know. Because you put those two what, ideas together why, in my brain. Why are, you, why are you even down there? Why yeah. are you sniffing? And then he goes... Um, yeah, I know. No, no, people who do this. <laughs> oh, you pig. I hate it. So everything offends me. <laughs> yes. Can you explain to me what is, what's going on here? Is this part of the world tour, or what is yeah. this? Yeah, I always... That's me in a bath in my hotel in Iceland. Reykjavik is probably my favourite place on the tour so far. But I haven't played New York yet. I'm playing that this weekend. Um, uh, yes. Are tickets still available? Uh, no, but I'm putting... Ah, no, this one's sold out at Madison Square Garden, but I'm putting another Madison Square Garden on sale tomorrow, Friday, 10am. Thanks for asking. <laughs> We provide. Yeah, it's a service we provide here. Oh no, the picture. Okay, so the yeah. picture. So, so this is me, and I, I, I try and do a bath pick wherever I am in the world, and and uh, I had to go to a novelty shop and get that, and smear myself in. My, look at that. Yeah. yeah. And those are those those are real breasts as well. There's no. <laughs> those those are real puppies down the there. The caption says, "After only one day in Iceland." <laughs> yeah, exactly. What That's is there what to do in Iceland? I've always wanted to go. It's just beautiful. It's just, it's just great. The geography, the people are great. Reykjavik's really laid back. What makes them laugh? What makes... Me. <laughs> English. They, they speak enough they, English, that's fine. They speak better English than we do. They're absolutely... Honestly, it's, it's, it's the whole of Scandinavia. There's no language barrier. Most of Europe speak fantastic English. No, so. they believe in elves in Iceland. Did you know that? They don't really. They do. <laughs> No, they no. actually believe the majority of Icelanders eight, actually believe no. Well, as adults, they will build roads. Like say, there's a like there's a rock outcropping right here that is traditionally the home of like these alfs, these elvish creatures. Right. They'll build the road around it rather than disturb the the, the home of the elf. That's why I want to go to Iceland because I'm a huge Tolkien fan, which I know you're not. You're not a fan of J.R.R. Tolkien. <laughs> and why aren't you? Because you have the you could be a hobbit. <laughs> You have the look. This is a conspiracy. No, no, it just seems natural. I've got Hobbit's feet. Yeah, my you feet, do. Under, yeah, honestly. But you don't, you don't, you don't and like the, Tolkien. Why don't you like it? And the huge him? testicles that every Hobbit has. Oh, that's true. That's true. If you read <laughs> the Silmarillion, they talk they, about that's that. That's never in the film, is it? The no, enormous no. testicles. <laughs> they would have lost their rating. They would have lost their rating. Yeah. Oh, um, uh, there's an uncut. There's an uncut version. That's in the director's cut. Oh, Why yeah. don't you like Tolkien? I don't understand. Because it's nonsense. It's fantasy. What do you mean? Like, what's wrong with nonsense? Well, Does everything have to be true to you? Okay, I'm a Catholic. <laughs> Welcome. Welcome aboard. <laughs> so I won the debate. So I won the you debate. Win. If nonsense is okay, I'm in. Okay, good. <laughs> and I can drink as much red wine as I want. Right. Because it's not wine anymore. It's not wine anymore. I'm absolutely off my f on the blood of Christ. <laughs> speaking, speaking, <laughs> speaking, speaking of being off your. Yeah. Uh, let's get back to the Golden Globe here for a yeah. second, because you've hosted that a few times. Yeah. And uh, I'm hosting. They've done a great oh, yeah. job. I'm hosting the Emmys in the fall. Can you give me any advice? <laughs> other than, like, what's the... It, it, other than, like, pissing off everyone in the room, or, or should you do that? Do you, is that uh, a good thing to do? Well, I don't try to, but, again, I, I, think, I think when you do those things, 
it, it, the, with the Golden Globes, I had a choice as a comedian. Do I pander the 200 people in the room or the 200 million people watching around the world? And there's no contest, you know? It, I'm, I, I, I play it for the audience at home because they're not winning awards. I'm the fat guy at home on the couch. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So I sort of, you know, and I didn't do it. I don't, I'm not that nasty, but um, do you know all the Emmy voters then? Because I'm up for Emmy consideration for, for what? Life, life on, on the Road. I'm, yeah, I'm on the Best voters. TV movie and best, yeah, tell them. Are you a voter as well? I don't think they've asked me to vote. Have you ever won an Emmy? Yeah, I've then won. Then you're automatically, I, I think, you can I've vote. I've won two, but I've lost 21. <laughs> oh, wow. That's, oh, wow. That's, that's terrible. That is pretty bad. That's a terrible batting average, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, wow. So, I my advice were, is... I thought you were talented. I didn't yeah, know. I know, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think it's like a big joke. They keep going, yeah, come to L.A. You're going to win. Am I? Nah. Uh, Louis C.K. <laughs> no, yeah. Louis. yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. Um, I think have fun. I think yeah. you're, you're... It's funny but because... But you can drink at the Golden Globes. That's the thing. The Golden Globes is probably better to be at than host at, because you're getting drunk and... You know, yeah. Whereas the Emmys, they're all sitting there and they've got to be sober. So it's good to perform at, but it's worse to be at. In fact, I hand out Emmys. When I'm up for Emmys, which is every year, and I don't win them, right? But they say, do you want to hand one out? And I always say yes, because I know that'll be a break and I'll get backstage and have a beer, because it's three hours without a beer watching it. So, so basically, blood of Christ. That's all I'd say. <laughs> Done. Peace be with you. <laughs> Tickets to see Ricky in New York and 